I made it to Mexico City. I'm gonna be vlogging this trip, so I'm really excited about that because I know I haven't vlogged in a really long time. And a lot of you guys were on me about it, like, what the hell happened to you? And I feel bad about that. I feel bad about disappearing. So I'm vlogging my trip to Mexico City. I the today I just got here. Um, I landed at like 9:30, and it's like 11:30 right now. I made it to my couch surfing host's apartment, um, and now it's Friday night, May 26th, and we are gonna go meet some of his friends right now, and tomorrow. Two of my girlfriends from New York are meeting me here also. So that's pretty exciting and I'm excited to show you guys my five day trip here. Um, it's also kind of my birthday trip because my birthday is on Sunday. And so yeah, I'm really excited to be here because Mexico City has been on my places of... It's been on my list of places that I've been wanting to travel for a super long time. This is my couch surfing host, his name is Jordan, <laughs> or Jordan, uh, and we're at this uh, reggae bar. We're just going in now. Yeah. All good? Okay. club it was super fun I'm super glad we went out even though I was pretty tired when I got um, to Jordan's place but now we're eating late-night tacos cuz we're bad and yeah it was a lot of fun I'm glad I got to experience Friday night in Mexico City and now we're just waiting for our uber to go home so I think um, I will close the vlog here for tonight but tomorrow night I'm expecting Cindy to come and that should be like a whole adventure in itself so I'll talk to you guys tomorrow our uber is here adios. okay adios good afternoon today is day two of being in Mexico City I am currently waiting for my friend Cindy to get here. She just got an Uber from the airport, so she should be here in about half an hour or so, and then we're gonna go get lunch. Just wanted to show you guys the view from my couch surfing host's balcony over here. So that's the view from his place. He lives in the neighborhood called Condesa which is um, like apparently a very trendy hipster area so I'm looking forward to when Cindy gets here we're gonna go out and explore of course I will take you guys along all right so Cindy has arrived she doesn't want to be shown <laughs> but yet. we are having lunch I got chile quiles she has um, chicken and Jordan has a steak with chilaquiles. We're at this little place that does like a set menu lunch, which is pretty standard here. And what are we gonna do after this? Probably check into our hotel, um, maybe check out the pool, and uh, wait for our other friend Bo to arrive. All right, so we're just here waiting for dinner. I'm with my two friends. Cindy and Bo, and we're at Pujol, which if you are a fan of Netflix Chef's Table, it was on season 2, episode 4, and we we're lucky enough to get reservations here, so we're like super excited to eat the mole. <laughs> the mole, what else, the, the ant mayonnaise, Yes. and the, I'm looking forward for the Churros. I don't know about you. Yes. Yeah. Me too. All three. So I'm gonna be vlogging it. Um, we are like five minutes early for reservation, so we're just waiting for a table now. And yeah, I'm pretty excited for this meal.
finally getting around to having lunch, but we're in this really cute cafe, and um, this is what I got. My acai bowl, which I'm super excited to eat. Yes. And we had a pretty late start today because we wanted to just hang out at the pool this morning, so we did that for a little while. So now we're on our way to the Museum of Contemporary Art. We're in our Uber. Say hi, guys. Hi. <laughs> um, yeah, we're headed to the museum because uh, one, we heard that it's a really cool museum, and there's like a sculpture garden there and stuff. So I think that would be really fun. It's a beautiful day out. Definitely my favorite sculpture or piece in the entire museum. Well, this whole room is supposed to be like, it's called playground. You know, like the rings or monkey bars. There's a slide over here. It's a really nice museum. I like how big and open everything feels. So now we've made it to the market in Koyokan and we're just like moving around. There's lots of different things to eat. Corn. We're trying some of this corn. Are you just No, gracias. Want some paprika? Yeah. Get that paprika girl. It's really happening. Oh. He is making Dory Locos. Dory Locos. I don't think this is Dory Locos, guys. Why not? This is Dory Locos. I, I know. Really? I, I know what it is. Yeah. Yeah. And you get everything oh gosh, inside. Yeah. Today, what, what day is this in Mexico City? Day, day three, two, three, four, three, day three. Yeah, day three. <laughs> <laughs> day three in Mexico City. Today we are at Teotihuacan. This is this ancient Aztec pyramid site. We are making our way to over there to the Sun Pyramid. I don't think I vlogged yesterday, right? Yes, you did. A little bit after dinner, but not after dinner. <laughs> <laughs> We're pretty bad blurry. at vlogging, yeah, after dinner because then we just end up at a bar and drinking way too much. <laughs> and then we like go back to the hotel at like four in the morning and I forget to end the vlog, but that's basically what's happened in the past few days. No shame in my game. <laughs> but we made it. We made it to do some sightseeing, so we're gonna hike up to the top of the pyramid and then check out the view from there. So we made it to the pyramid. We're about to start climbing to the top. I think I read that it's like 280 something steps. Um, so yeah. This is the view. It's a whole 360 view. Awesome. Cute. I'm dead. Oh, hello. You're cute too. You're biting my. You're cute too. You're biting me. Aww. Pups. So small. We we're just waiting for our bus back to Mexico City and we saw these two pups kind of like hanging out on a hill next to where the bus stop is. So of course we had to stop and play with them. They're so cute. And there's a lot of stray dogs like in the pyramid area, but these aren't strays. They have they're wearing collars, so oh my god, that little husky baby. So adorable. I can't get over it.
because we've been eating it on top of our mangoes and oranges and basically every other fruit that we've had here and it's been so good, it's so tasty so I wanted to come to the supermarket to get a few bottles to bring back I know you can get it in the States but I think it's more expensive and I'm here anyway so I might as well just take some back with me um, just waiting for my friends to check out it is unfortunately Bowen Cindy's last night in Mexico City so we're kind of just like souvenir shopping and stuff. Well, it's our last day in Mexico City. We're at this artisan market doing some souvenir shopping. Um, looking for handicrafts. I don't know, nothing really stands out though. But there's a lot to look at, so that's fun. with a candy haul um, so the first thing that I got was this mancha tea gomitas enchiladas I think this is like a gummy candy that is covered in like this kind of spicy sauce um, we tried something like it when we were in Mexico and it was really good so I thought this might have been it so I picked this up and I wanted to try it also this pick Lucas enchiladas I think it's like something like a similar idea but Pulperindo classic. I've tried this before. Um, it's like tamarind with, again, that spicy in it. Chocoretas. I picked this up because it looked like it was mint chocolate, and I love pretty much anything mint chocolate. Plus, I don't know, I think it looks really cute, like the lime green little balls. And the last thing I got was Choco Yogo. Mango flavored. Um, chocolate, I think, with mango cream inside. And funnily enough, it's made by Hershey's, which we don't get in the U.S. So, yeah, I'm really excited to try these. I might make a video uh, trying them. Let me know in the comments below if you want to see me taste these Mexican candies. And I'll see you guys in the next video or the next vlog. Bye, guys.